Hi, I'm Ken Miller, and this is Carolina Ray with C-Ray Performance, and right now we're going to go over some techniques to help you improve mobility and flexibility across the lower leg, specifically across the foot and ankle. So, around us we have some great tools that can definitely facilitate improving flexibility and mobility through the lower leg. So, in front of Carolina here we have the Hypervolt. We also have a few other options when it comes to self-myofascial technique with the Viper as well as the Hypersphere and the Hypersphere Mini. So right now we're going to have Carolina use the Hypervolt and what the Hypervolt is is basically an awesome percussion tool that you can use to help relieve tension in whatever area you can access. So from here Carolina is going to go ahead and use the Volt and she's going to use the bullet applicator and she's going to use that across the bottom of her feet. Now the beautiful thing about the vault is that it's nice and quiet to where it's not going to be disruptive towards any environment that you might be in. So whether you're in the office, um, at the gym, it's not so loud that you're going to disrupt anybody or upset anybody. But right now she's got it on and she's taking the bullet applicator and she is taking the applicator and running it down from the inside of the foot down to the heel and as she goes down she's going to go right back up and she's going to work her way gradually zigzagging up and down towards the pinky toe and back again. With that she's going to do a broad sweep and that way she's going to cover a lot of area. Now if she finds a spot, a tender spot that she has a little bit more tension than other areas she can, she can take that applicator and just hold it there in place until she feels a reduction in, in tension in that spot. Now as she does that, the other thing that you can do is you can use the mini, which is a great tool, covers a lot of areas as far as you know where you can use it, I can use it in the calf, but if I was sitting in a chair, I can turn this on and find that same spot and hold it still until that tension is released. All right, go ahead and change that to the fork. So she's gonna change applicators and put on the fork. Now with the fork, you just have to make sure that the notch is aligned. And what she's gonna do here, she can use that same fork on the bottom of her feet like she just did with the bullet. She's gonna put that on there. She can just take one of the prongs here and you can go along what she just did with the applicator. But what you can also do is take that fork and go alongside more the medial and lateral side of the Achilles and go up and down from the heel towards the calf. Now if there's any spot that she wants to address specifically, she can also take that same fork and go more of an inline up and down, up and down the calf. Right now, the last thing that we can do to help mobility in the lower leg is get the calf itself. So, Carolina is going to go ahead and switch off to the flat head right here. Now, another applicator you can use is the cushion. But here, as she is seated right there, she can get the medial side of the calf. She can go up and down. You'll notice her pacing is about an inch per second, slow and deliberate, and she's taking inventory of where her tender spots are. So she can take again that, that sweeping motion and cover the area and then complement that with sticking to a spot that's more tender than others and staying there for about 30 seconds or until the tension decreases. Now she's working more of the medial side of the calf. The other side of the calf she can access by rotating out and going from the knee or the crease of the knee down to right above the ankle bone. So just be careful that when you are using the flat head that you do stay away from bony notches because that is not going to feel good when you have that hard plastic percussing on the bone itself. Alright? Perfect. Now other ways you can get that area, again you can, you can use the roller to apply self-myofascial technique um, or you can use something like the sphere. Any implement that you can apply pressure or body weight on, but as research is proving, it's a lot better when you start to add vibration to the mix. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do after she's done some release techniques using the Volt or the Viper or whatever tool that you have available, 
is we're going to work on some flexibility. So she's going to do a heel sit. So the first thing Caroline is going to do here is she is going to, thank you very much, is she is going to go ahead and sit on the tops of her feet. So she lays the foot flat. And in this position, she is going to have her weight forward. That way she's not putting too much weight from her hips down to her feet. As, the, as she gets more flexibility or she accommodates that range of motion, now she can sit up. Sit up nice and tall, always emphasizing good alignment, great posture here, shoulders, hips in line. And then the progression from there is that now she can put her hands behind and feel a little bit more stretch through the front of the shins. How are you feeling? Great. Good? Okay. So now a variation of this stretch is we can change the position of her foot and ankle. So now she's going to flex at the foot, she's going to bend the toes, she's going to sit on her heels, right? As she sits, she's going to feel a little stretch across the bottom of her feet. How are you feeling there? Definitely more stretchy. More stretchy. Awesome. So again, you saw the progression, hands are forward, now she's sitting up tall, she's feeling a little bit more stretch across the bottom of the foot. And then the progression from there is to sit back, add more, and we'll go ahead and keep it at that. Go ahead and come out of that. Awesome. Good job. All right, so we've got those stretches that we can do on the foot and ankle. Now to add some mobility. Again, improve blood flow. We've relaxed the muscle. Now we can get the muscles to move through their range of motion, or the joints to get through their range of motion. So we're going to add a little bit of mobility technique here. So Carolina is going to figure four, and what that does is it frees up the foot, it can move freely in space. She's going to figure four her left ankle across her right knee, and she's going to get a little bit of space here so that she can move that ankle and it's not going to hit anything. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get some dorsi and plantar flexion. So keeping that foot as neutral as possible, she'll point up and she'll point down and away, up and down. Perfect. So she'll get about 10 reps of that. The next thing she's going to do is add some circles. So I'm going to have Carolina do a nice big circle. So a cue that I might use for my clients is to have them imagine that I take the pen to the bottom of their foot. And if I were to put a piece of paper right above that foot, now you're going to draw the biggest circle you can draw. So that's not just up, you're also out down point, and then in, and then up. So if she goes with a counterclockwise motion, then we want to complement that with a clockwise motion. So here's the thing, it's not just a foot and ankle thing. Your clients, or you yourselves when you do this, might feel this somewhere along the shin. How are you feeling? Good, I definitely feel that in my shin. Okay, so you're gonna recruit all the muscles across that lower leg. So if you get 10 ankle, Flex and extends, then you can get the 10 clockwise, 10 or 10 counterclockwise. And then of course repeat that with the other side. So hope that helps out as far as improving ankle and foot mobility, getting you to release some tension across the bottom of the feet as well as the lower leg. Adding things that you already do, like a calf stretch, will help out. But for the most part, if your ankles and, and feet don't move, neither does your hips and neither does the rest of your body. So hopefully that helps out. Try it out. Let us know what you think. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon. Take care. Be safe.